if a patient is on dialysis that means his kidney is not able to uh, do its job properly so one of the most important uh, jobs of kidney is to maintain water balance and water balance is maintained uh, through uh, sodium so if there is excess sodium there is more water in the body so we need to avoid foods that are rich in sodium sodium rich foods usually are present in processed foods or canned or preserved foods so foods that are rich in sodium needs to be avoided and second important thing is the kidney uh, fails the uh, ability fails in the ability to excrete potassium so this potassium since it is not being excreted it remains in the blood so it leads to a condition called hyperkalemia that is excess potassium in the blood so this leads to some irregular heart beats so foods we should be avoiding are foods that are rich in potassium most of the vegetables if you see cabbage uh, cauliflower spinach most of the green leafy vegetables and um, <coughs> uh foods like uh, let's say fruits like banana or oranges they are also rich in uh, bit potassium so these things should be avoided and the third most important thing is phosphorus so the phosphorus uh if it remains in the blood forms phosphoric acid which again increase the acidosis and kidney fails to eliminate this phosphor uh, the phosphates from our blood so foods that are rich in phosphorus also should be avoided the same foods that are rich in potassium are also rich in um, uh, phosphorus especially complex carbohydrates say for example brown bread bran rich foods and uh, foods that are high in uh, protein uh, these are the, some of the things that contain high phosphorus especially dark colas any kind of soft drink uh, that is dark in color we should be avoiding this thing so basically uh, the dietary guidelines remain on these three principles but again a person who is having only diabetes and is on dialysis is different from a person who is on dialysis with rest of the medical conditions they could be obese or they could be having hypertension or heart disease so the diet has to be planned exclusively these are guidelines should be used by a specialist like a dietitian or a doctor to design so this is not an advice per se to the public but we have to keep them keep in mind that these are the guidelines your diet has to be exclusively designed for yourself